Hey, what's up, guys? Flux, we're back here, and today we are going to be playing some Gonk Druid, also known as some Dino Druid, also known as I'm gonna punch you in the dome. <laughs> um, I don't really have anything to say. I, I built this deck uh, yesterday before stream, and uh, played it on stream, and I don't remember what was the one right here. I can check. It was 40%. So, the 40% win rate. Oh no, shoot, it's, it's, I guess, slightly less than that. It's, 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 I also played another game, but I think I ended up, I lost it, right? Yeah. It, it doesn't have the best win rate, uh, I'll be honest. But, the deck was really fun. Uh, for anybody who is at the stream, yeah, I lost to a Demon Hunter. Um, deck is really really fun and it might have been the most fun I had playing in deck in recent memories so I decided let's make a video on it all right yeah well with that being said let's uh queue up the first one and let's see how it goes all right guys yeah I'll see y'all there I must protect the wild all right. First game. Keeping this is fine. Um, I'll be honest. Again, as I said, the deck is not exactly good, but deck is a lot of fun <laughs> but i my brain is half functioning right now i won't lie <laughs> uh all right i think here Your wish is my i can ramp again into more ramp or i play this into this so if i do this this turn I have four mana next turn. I guess I could technically do there. Do this. But then I have one mana floating. It's not ideal. So if I do this, I complete this part of quest. Next time I do this, then I have five mana. I can hero power with. Yeah, I guess that's fine. It might be a little bit slower overall, but I think it should be fine. And here, I think we, we take the kill on the Zephyrus here just because it, it feels pretty safe. So, yeah. Uh, Alright. I figured that he was going to be ramping. And that's the other thing is, we kind of want to keep up with our opponent in ramp. So... And I feel like you can make an argument for either one, but this way, this could actually technically use the draw card, which is not bad. That is not exactly the card I want to see. Um, this can be really good. Take this, I guess. I want floop, but it's this. Could actually make an argument for this. Yeah, fuck it. I the reason I went for this is because I had no other way to really gain attack in my hand. And now I got pounce and I got Malfurion's gift. It's pretty good. He had a really good start. Um, I, I should have even know if I'll be able to beat this card, but I. How much is this? One, four, five, six, seven. That's fine. Complete that next turn. 
All right. Uh, I guess I could talk about some of my thoughts of this deck and why I chose to pick play some of the cards I'm choosing to play. So, you guys will notice that there is no guff in the deck. That is mostly because I wanted to play the panther, uh, the groovy cat. This is a cat, not a panther, but it's it's a panther. Um. Yeah, I wanted to play him, so, this draws me a card, so I want to play it a little slower. So, because I want to play him, uh, that's an interesting draw, sorry. I, I want to finish what I'm saying. Sorry about that. Uh, I, I should have played this as well. I was focused on the conversation. Um, alright, well. Also, I guess, before we get back into trying to finish the thought I had, I also might lose the game because I failed that, by the way. But, hey, it is what it is. Um... This card is so... Yeah, I think I'm dead. It's really annoying if I had a little bit more. If I had one more turn. That was really, really fine. Uh, I guess I can do this. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, well, we go to one. This is so annoying because I would have had this NOR in hand. And I think I won the game. NOR, or Aviana, NOR. Time may pass, but the dream is eternal. Oh, you actually got it. Hold on. Oh. Um. Could have been better. I do think that I potentially had the game won if I didn't fuck up that last turn, but also I didn't have enough attack gain in my hand. Uh, that was definitely a very interesting game. It's because, like, first of all, I didn't have enough damage to quite kill that. It was really annoying, but. I, I feel like I just put that poorly. I'll be honest. Anyways, uh, let's queue up the next one, I guess. Malfurion versus Omen. Hail, students of Cenarius. I will right. be you, the eternal fallen. Well, kind of want to keep Flippery friends. 
Oh, I can't. Oh, this is not. I thought this was rake. Uh, this should have also been mauled. Oh my god, I'm playing so poorly today. Actually, so fucking poorly. Uh, I feel bad because I feel like I'm playing like shit. You know, this matchup is not fun or easy. It is annoying. I wonder if you guys can also hear the TV in the background. I believe they're watching some movie and they are playing it very, very loudly. Alright, well. I'm gonna dive back into... My thoughts. And, like, why I put some of the cards I put in. So, uh, as, as I said, right? I'm pretty sure I said this. Um, I have new heights in the deck. Right? As is a value card. Um, as, like, a value card that ramps you. But also, it helps with the NOR, and it helps with the gonk, and whatnot. I had the option of playing, um... Guff, which is one of the things I want to talk about. And I opted not to put in Guff, mainly because I want to play the Groovy Cat, as I said. Groovy Cat is straight up a unit of a card. Uh, before I attack, I'm going to wait to see if I draw something I can play here. That's good for next turn, I guess. Um, yeah, so... I felt like if I was going to be replacing my hero power, then I would have to cut also the Groovy Cat. And I wanted to play the pi uh, the Peaceful Piper, because it draws Gonk, but it also draws the Groovy Cats. So, I was like cutting like four cards, or six cards, to put in Guff. And yes, maybe five other cards could be better. I don't doubt it. But, at the same time, I feel as if I feel like there is a, probably a better version. As I said uh, yesterday, I added branching paths to the deck uh, between version 1 and 2, and I added Finley. I added Finley just because I felt like there was times where I'd have, say, like the whole combo in hand. Like, I'd have NOR, I'd have Aviana, Flippery Friends, Floop, Faceless, and then, you know. At least then if I draw um, Finley, like, I have a decent card to play. And for the branching paths, I added it because I felt that, oh my god, if only I had more mana. If I had more mana, I was in a great position. Okay, well... Flippery friends? Ooh, oh, I'm one mana off. Are you fucking for real? Oh my god, I'm one mana off. That is so unfortunate. That'd be four. Guess I have to do this. Let's gain 12 here. There's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Weirdly enough, it would not actually be the worst to just leave this whole board alive if I could survive till a little bit later. If I was able to survive two turns, it would almost be correct. Just because Gonk value would potentially allow me to kill him, but I need I need a lot more mana. But this would be one of those situations where if I had a Noir and Avion in hand, like enough mana to play the Aviana, I'd be in a great position. So I'm gonna take care of two of these. He needs to play one other card. Because I can do this, which is six. This is actually only six mana, so it just replaces itself. I actually don't have enough to kill two of those. Unless I draw exactly pounce. Advances. 
I need to draw exactly pounds to deal with two of them. Or something better than this. Pretty sure I'm just dead. Uh, no, no, no. I forgot that this was only six mana because these things have seven health, but it's not seven mana. Okay. Hmm. How much is this? 18, 20, 23. I'm still technically alive. Do this. I guess this is fine. Well Still technically alive. Okay. Can't get cards. <sighs> Such a bad burn for me. I was hoping to burn Arana. Oh my god, my hands so far this video have been super. F oh my. God. I've just been super fucking awkward, and it's because of that that I'm gonna lose here. Fun. Claw pounce are decent draws. I mean, this does. Am I still dead? Kill this. Kill this. 14, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Hmm, I wonder. I mean, I have to go for it, right? Uh, I feel like if I would have had a slightly better draw i had won the had won the game with six axes now isn't it by or 10 no it's only 13. maybe i should have done this on this yeah maybe that was the better play faceless this use forces send both of those in there Let's see what's at the bottom of our deck. Rake is a really good draw here. I do this into this. Alright, that takes up six mana. I have three left. Poke, poke. Play this. Break. Kill the other one. I have to still punch this down. Mm. This swipe is five mana. If I, I just have to go. Uh, it's not the right play, and it's really annoying. But time limits, you know. Oh my god, I fuck. The plan was to gain 8 armor and then hero power. But I, I ran out of time. Oh my god, these... It was actually better to take swipe. Yeah, I fucked up. I have lethal. Oh, uh, not, maybe not lethal, but... Oh... 
Just thinking about it, Swipe gave me the damage I needed across both of the guys to connect to his face with my face. So I would have had a shitload more health. I would have had an 8-8 taunt. He would have had no board. Oh my god. I feel like I should not have lost that game. But I saw the line too late. And it's very tilting. This video has not been going the way I want it to go. At all. This deck is better than this. I feel like this deck is better than this. I'm just really bad at playing. <laughs> Uh, anyways, I guess let's try the next one. Oh, well, this is a matchup I don't think we can ever win, which is fun. Uh, I don't think I can ever beat Ice Block Spam. Oh my god. That last game gave me a headache. Again, I feel like I could have been playing better. Also, I feel like my draws today have just been abysmal. I, To be fair, I've yet to draw Forbidious Flute, but I've drawn this card I feel every fucking game I play with this deck. Yeah, I don't beat Ice Block scan, Spam. Ever. Uh, let's do this. We do this next turn. We draw two cards with this. And we pray, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna get tilted when I lose to fucking nice block this game, but eh. I've also yesterday on stream I was drawing the the groovy cat like every fucking game, and today also notes this card has never drawn me groovy cat once unless Gonk was already in my hand. Alright. Figured that was coming. I should probably have waited actually a turn so I can draw cards. Or so I could have hero powered to actually advance my quest. Like, look at this hand, man. Like, first of all, Faceless Manip, I actually think it's probably a cut. And you just I have to go off with double gonk instead of three just so you can just play more card draw <laughs> more cycle but that's at least decent um hmm I've also not drawn spread the word once, I feel. No, I, I drew it in the first game and it caused me to lose, kind of, but... Uh, I feel like I could be playing so much fucking better, and I feel like I'm just... Oh my god, it's, it's such a weird feeling, just like, I feel like I'm playing fine. I'm playing slow is the big issue. Yeah, that's the big issue, is I'm playing super slow, and it's causing me to lose... I feel. Oh well, it is what it is. I also have no target. I can can I play this without a target? I have no idea if I can actually play Rake without a target. But if not, I want him to play this. If he plays this one two here, gives me a target for this. That'd be great. The one two. Beautiful. I should have a target for this. I can complete the next part now in quest. Oh well. Give me that 50-50. Oh, there's two groovy cats to one of these. Oh, I could have waited to hero power. I should have waited to hero power. Hero power last. I would have gotten one more step to completion. Then this card, I think is a single card that's the most amount of potential. Especially because, as I said, right, with new heights. There's a lot of, like, hoping for the perfect thing to go down in this deck, is what I'm noticing. I feel like the amount of games you'll actually win with Gonk is one in a million, but... You might win one. Play a card that replaces itself. Play a draw spell. Alright, you're missing Arcane. Play an Arcane draw spell. 
That'd be dope. I actually think, unironically, this is the pick. I complete quest with this. Uh, yeah. This is this allows me to fill up my hand, which is gonna be pretty nice. The issue is I just can't kill him. Even with Guff, I don't have enough damage to kill him. Draw a bunch of cards here. Okay. Well, I want to now kill him over two turns, but this turn he completes quests and plays quest reward. Next turn, he kills me. So. Eight puts him to five. So if I put him to five, I have five damage technically if I can rake without a target. Do I have enough mana? Three. One mana. Okay, this. Eight. Nine, nine, up to four. I guess I guess I just have to do this, right? Put up to four here. Nobody messes with my friends. Eight, nine. Quiet. Four, white dome. Proc the block. Force him to play ice block again. If he doesn't have another block, he dies. If I actually managed to win this game, I I don't feel like it's deserved really, I'll be honest. Um I feel like this Winning last game would have felt deserved is like the big thing. Winning this one just feels meh. Not burn block the uh, reward. Yeah, he just burns his reward. Why do you play this? Why did he not play that? <laughs> Why did he choose to play the spell he did? Oh, he's just giving up. My hand is I guess he doesn't have an ice block. I know my oh my god. Did not expect to win that one. I'll be honest. I know we're pretty close to the limit. Like, uh, well, I shouldn't even say the limit, but, like, my time I normally end at. I'm gonna go for one more, just because I got interrupted halfway through the first game. Um, yeah. Anyway, so with that being said, I'll keep up the next one, and I'll see y'all there. Alright, playing so Warlock. Warlock is probably the easiest matchup for this deck, which, if you hate playing against Quest Warlock, it is a good thing. Um, turns out my deck that just goes dome for a lot of damage is really good at playing against the Warlocks. Who would have thought? Questline on one, Harmonic on two, Groovy Cat on three. This is not the matchup I thought it was. This is going to be much worse. Unfortunate. But, hopefully we can get there. Ooh, that's a really good draw. Maybe we hit the second one and we can just draw a whole bunch of cards, put up the full hand the entire game. Also, by the way, I don't remember if I said it or not, but I hope everybody had a beverage uh, throughout today's video. I was drinking meat, some cherry Coke, but I finished it between games while I was bitching myself about the fact that I was losing. <laughs> um... I guess I should also specify that the reason there's also the faceless in the deck... Because I know I was bitching about Faithless last game. I dang it. I thought I clicked on turn, but I should have waited. Um, the main reason I put Faithless in the deck as well is sometimes you might have to play Guff and then play a second Guff. So you have the battle cry. Other times you're going to want to copy Gonk. Oh, I mean, I, don't, I feel like you actually never really want to copy Gonk, but in my brain you want to copy Gonk. Just I like the card. Um, put me up to five mana. No, I'd rather do this. 
I feel like I want to be aggressive here. So I have this. So I feel like being aggressive and trying to kill him as fast as possible will be the better choice. Especially when he starts summoning 8-8s eight and then giving them Wind Fury. I want to be able to, to kill him. Also, this way I could potentially finish this part of quest next turn. Why does this thing have taunt, man? Why do they always have taunt? The three francs ain't a bad draw. This is so fucking annoying. The fact that I am one man off. The fact that I am one mana off being able to play this is super frustrating. I should have, to be fair, done that first, but I still would not have been able to play this. Uh... I can't afford to take 18, right? Time waits for no one. Praise of glory. I feel like I don't have a choice. This way I can um hero power rake to eat this next turn. I could technically do this to gain one more mana or one more damage. I need to try and race him, I feel. I feel like in my heart I have to fucking race him. And this is not gonna go well. I think this leads to me dying, but I feel like I have to go for it. Yeah, I feel like going for the race is the only way I actually win the fight. Or win the game. Because this turn I'm probably taking, what is this, 16 plus 6? Because my guess that's 24. Or 22. Yeah. This is, this is why I'm worried. If I do take 22, I think I'm just dead. Uh... Maybe he rats me and he pulls Gonk. And then he's forced to kill Gonk. You'd be forced to kill Gonk just in case I have a whole bunch of ways to gain attack. Or summon another copy. Oh, this is 10. I can put him down to 3. I put him down to three, or do I just gain a shitload of life? Look in hero power, do this. What to do? He's gonna be trying to rat me. I have this, which gets me access to swipe, so I think I should actually go for it. It also gains me the most amount of health. Or, not quite the most. I gained one more health than this, but. I feel like this. I have this to get a swipe, which is lethal, which is why I want to go for this play. Uh, I also have a second guff here. My guess is he's going for rat. He was hoping that I would complete quest, then he'd go to rat me, then kill off my guy. Not knowing the fact that I'm also gonk, but... Okay. Okay. I beat that. Please, no life gain. Oh, of course, he has life gain. Oh, wait, he doesn't kill me, though. That's lethal, right? Eight plus three. Let's go. I was actually expecting this matchup to be significantly harder. 
Then new, then that's, I've never seen the card that just straight up gives a minion life steal permanently. Gertu's not gonna lie, not that bad. Also, the fact that we ended up bringing it back to what? A, uh, two and two? Two and two, and I feel like we should have won one, so. I mean, hey, we could have been three and one if I had played better. Just saying. This sand could have been 3-1 and one if I had played better. And we beat Mage, which is a matchup I didn't think I'd ever be able to beat. Hey, man. Dark is pretty dope. Also, again. I would, I would recommend that you guys all give this deck a try if you have all the cards. I, I know I say that a lot, but again, this is probably one of the most fun decks I've played. Like, even the games I lost, like, I don't... I don't feel nearly as tilted as I normally do if I would have lost that way you know it's uh it's pretty interesting anyways i don't have much else to say i'm i'm gonna be playing this deck more on stream in the upcoming days uh i'm actually gonna be going live shortly after i finish editing this and recording this so um yeah Anyways, with all that being said, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as always. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all in the next one where hopefully we get some more dubs. Alright guys, yeah. with that being said, I will see y'all there. Peace.